a lie. I can't let a woman jump back in my life after she left the relationship for some dumb reason. I can't do it. Seriously, this woman ended a two year relationship with me because she felt the new guy she just met was doing better than me and her exact words was, he understood the kind of lifestyle I wanted to live. Now, fast forward five years, you've now got two kids by him. Turns out all the cash he was flashing, that was credit card. He didn't have no prospect, no jobs, nothing. And on top of that, turns out he's got another kid on the way, but a different woman. I find it so interesting right now that this woman now wants to catch up and pick up where we left her. But when I said no, that I'm not interested, all of a sudden, apparently I'm childish and I'm being immature because I'm holding a grudge. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, that woman needs to go ahead and get some help. She's trying to use the shaming language on this man because she realizes after all this time that she effed up two kids later. Two kids later and you think that some man who I'm assuming doesn't have any kids and looking at him, he looked rather good and that accent is doing something, child, but let me stay on task here. Y'all women are crazy. You biatches are crazy and you're getting crazier every day. You're not learning. You're not listening. You're not understanding. You just think that you are going to blame and shame your way into some good D for some man who was who you didn't think was good enough to begin with. You went where you wanted to go. You took who you wanted to take and you got the results that you got. That's all on you. Enjoy them. Love them. And good luck with that next kid. Or did he say that the kid that he's having, he having a kid with somebody else. When y'all make it and you get the best man possible, you still F it up. Then turn around and act like you didn't do anything wrong. Was there any apologies? Did she apologize at all? Did she say she was wrong? No, it's never that. I'm still waiting on y'all to send me some video where you see any B.I. sitting up here saying that she was wrong and she apologizes on video to the man that she did wrong. I don't ever see those daggone videos. Stick to your gun, sir. You did the right thing. F her. All right. You'll find whatever it is that you're looking for soon enough. Every man is a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> dummy. I don't know if you ever heard of this girl. What's her name? Starla Soloway. Starla Soloway. An influencer, I'm sure. 48,000 followers on Tickety Talk, 1.7 million likes, and the sisses is mad. Y'all still mad? I've been gone for eight effing days, and y'all still mad. Why y'all mad? Why y'all stay mad? Why? Life is too short. Go on vacation. But y'all big mad at Starla. And I'm so confused. So Starla Soloway got some braids, y'all. Y'all, the whack, the whack girl got some braids. And the sisses is mad, sad, and don't know what to do with themselves. All right. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. So you see the pictures. Look like she, I don't know if she's making videos or she's had them for a while or whatever. But honestly, this is, wait, where's she at? Okay, this is what she was looking like before. Her regular white, white hair. And nobody had an issue with her. Look at her. Cute white girl. All right. She got a wig here of mess.com. But you go, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing. Mm, 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 mm. All right. All right. So that's what she was doing. Everything all good in the hood. She doing the white thing. It's all good in the hood. She wore this blonde wig. Nobody had an issue. But child, hold up. Hold up. Wait a damn minute. She did a video. Come with me to get braids. Come with me to get braids, y'all. Okay. This was as of three days ago. Three days ago, she said, I'm going to go get some braids. I'm going to go get some braids. And I don't know if there's any music, so that's why I'm talking through it, okay? She said, come with me to get some braids. Ooh, come with me to get some braids. And she went to who? She went to a sister, blessed by the most high, said, I'll give you them braids, girl. I'm going to give you them braids, girl. And it looks like she said, yeah, girl, I'll put it in, girl. Yeah, girl. Yes, yeah, let's go, sis. I got you, child. Yeah, it's a long process. You want blonde? You want blonde braids? I got you, girl. Whatever color you want, child, I got you. Mm -hmm. So she got the black woman to go ahead. She got the sister. Ah, to help her to get them braids. Look at them braids. Look at them braids. Look at them braids. Looking like Bo Derek from 1970, 1971, whenever it was that she got braids. What movie was that? The Blue Lagoon, if I'm not mistaken. All right. 
So she went ahead and she got her, maybe she wants to swim. Maybe she's going on a cruise. Maybe she's going, I don't know. She, maybe she's going to land a plane and she needs to make sure that her hair ain't all over the place. I don't know, child. She went and got these braids. It's the summertime, whatever. All right. Let's see. The stuff, let's see, replying to Rachel, and it's only ever the white saviors who even care. First comment says they look great. Next time, get a relaxer right before you get them done. It will help them stay last longer. Don't listen to the haters. You should wear them all the time because it'll help your hair grow, especially if you don't take them out for one year or more. Do hip length, small knotless necks with goddess cur... Someone says cultures indeed should be shared. I love your braids. All right, well, let's listen to her. Just because I have braids and I'm a white girl, I have one question for y'all. Do you believe that cultures should be shared? And if the answer is no, why do you believe in segregation? To everyone that's just so pressed because I have braids and I'm a white girl, I have one question for y'all. Do you believe that cultures should be shared? And if the answer is no, why do you believe in segregation? Hmm. To everyone that so the comment says the stylist will get that bag no matter what she's getting paid to make white people look a fool mm, mm, mm. so now they want to talk about sis can get her big but it's the white girl that's the problem so the stylist will get that bag no matter what so it's all the you know you're not allowed to make money Y'all, as a black person, you're not allowed to be in a capitalist society and do what you need to do in order to get your weight up, get your money up, get your livelihood better. You got to be poor and destitute. You got to do everything that the community wants you to do, even if it don't make good God sense. You know, that's how I go, right? All right. Let's see what the next video says. I just wanted to come on here and sincerely apologize to everyone who was offended by me having braids. I didn't think anyone would really care. Um, but I've decided to cut them out because I think it's really disrespectful. Shut the fuck up! That's what y'all really <laughs> wanted me to say, huh? That's how y'all want me to react to this shit. Look at him. Kiss my white fucking ass, bitch. Oh my. I just wanted to come on here and say <laughs> I was not expecting that. I think that is hilarious. I think it is absolutely hilarious. Especially if someone is expecting her to change what she paid for because they think it's appropriation. We're going to talk about appropriation in a moment, all right? But I think that's a good response. But let's see what else is here. So we can't play the music. I think that's Nicki Minaj or something. Anyway, uh, yes, girl, keep them in such a good protective style. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we got. Promise you they wouldn't give an ounce of a shit or a motherfuck <laughs> or a weird suck. But you know what is weird? is using your hard-earned money to go search somebody's phone records and stalk their family because they wear braids online and from a spam account at that. I bet your nose fat as fuck. Send me some nose pics and then we can talk. What? What? I promise you they wouldn't give an ounce of a shit or a motherfuck or a weird suck. But you know what is weird? Is using your hard-earned money to go search somebody's phone records and stalk their family because they wear braids online and from a spam account at that. I bet your nose fat as fuck. Send me some nose pics and then we can talk. So I guess somebody looked her up to get her phone number in order to do what now? Yeah, people are out of control. This is what people are spending their time doing. Everything that's going on in the United States right now and somebody's got the audacity and the nerve to be looking this girl up so that they can get her phone number to do what exactly? I mean, the girl's probably, it seems like an influencer. So you're not going to stop her job. You're probably just going to bring more attention to her. And that's the part that always gets me. Y'all out here carrying on with these people, telling them what they not going to do. And all you do is bring attention to it to make the story get bigger and bigger and bigger. They get seen more and more and more, more clicks, likes, and views. And you don't even realize that you're assisting in them getting known. I would never have looked for no damn Starla Saul away or however you say her name. Why would I be thinking of Starla Starla away? Starla Saul away. But y'all make a big deal out of things that you ain't got no need to make a big deal out of. So the F what this woman got braids. Black people don't own sugar, honey, MF and ice, F and T. Let alone damn braids. 
I mean, come on, the hair that you got to get in order to get the damn braids in your head, that ain't even yours. Most of the time, you taking somebody else's hair to put into your hair. Ain't that culturally appropriating? Oh my God, y'all are so insane. Y'all ain't got no better in eight days, just worse. She said, don't play with me. Yeah, look at this girl. Well, like, what do y'all really think that this woman does? We can get her phone number. What's that going to do? What's that going to stop her from? That's going to get her more attention. Look at this. Look at this girl. Y'all be working hustling backwards to your own detriment at the end of the damn day. Looking half damn crazy. The way she didn't even dip them for you that part. Lord have mercy. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. This is so stupid. Clearly, I can't be playing none of this music. Also, put a heavy coating of vegetable oil mixed with cinnamon on your scalp nightly. Then put on a do-rag and they last longer. This is what I hear when I open my comments and y'all steadily talking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got Barb over here saying, yes, come to Baltimore with braids. They would love you here. No, it's supposed to be like that, hun. The longer you keep them in, the better. I guess because she used the Baltimore theme on here. So all these people upset from Baltimore now. Child, this is so dumb. Bliss. What the fuck? I, um, okay, y'all just mad at me for no reason. I never said nothing mad to nobody. I like the braids. I think they're cute. I love and respect black people. My son is black. Oh my God, y'all are ruthless. What the fuck? I... Okay, y'all just mad at me for no reason. I never said nothing mad to nobody. I like the braids. I think they're cute. I love and respect black people. My son is black. Oh my. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. I know that's going to make it worse. It's got to. She got a little Negro kid. She got a little colored kid. Lord, 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 Lord. It says, the comment says, it's always these Botox filled bird beak nosed age and dog years ass biatches who want to be us girl. We can get it. You a fan. You a wannabe. You can be our mascot. Y'all really are wasting brain cells and time in life. Is this a PhD, A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Is this who this is? Because this is half damn crazy. Worrying about this girl and her damn hair. Y'all need to go get a job. Go take care of your kids. Go and uh, stop being highly evicted. Uh, worry about other people culturally appropriating. Why y'all appropriating every daggone day and half the damn night. The hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy of trying to tell somebody what they going to do. And then you go do what you want to do, which is the complete same thing as what they doing. But because you butt hurt over it because she got the audacity. Now she wrong, but you're not. Whoo, child. Mental instability. Insane, y'all. Insane. My hair is parted exactly where it's supposed to be parted. If you look, I have a little triangle right here where my hair naturally parts. And in every other video that I have posted, it's the same part. She did fine. And Ooh. you absolutely can kiss my white fucking ass. I meant that shit. My hair is parted exactly where it's supposed to be parted. If you look, I have a little triangle right here where my hair naturally parts. And in every other video that I have posted, it's the same part. She did fine. And you have... So now they want to take down the sis and say that she didn't do the braids right? Come on. The sisters is turning on the sis that did the braids for the white girl. Y'all will turn on anybody at any time. No loyalty whatsoever with regard to nothing. No one at any time. Because you can't control your emotions. This is crazy. These are alleged adults probably raising people. Trying to stalk this woman online. Over braids. Over a hairstyle. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. where the pro blacks at? Well, Dr. Umar, can you come over here and control these people? Because, child, somebody need to help these biatches. Uh oh, she done busted out the daggone, uh, what is this? Uh, bonnet. I know they mad now. I know they mad now. Mm, mm, mm. If you respected black people, you wouldn't have made the video and having a black child doesn't excuse the dumb things you're saying. Y'all too damn old. Okay. All right. 
<sighs> Let's see what the sisters are saying, y'all. Because this is half damn crazy. Half damn crazy. So I'm going to start doing braids. So I'm taking bookings right now. I take any type of hair, you know, white, black, whatever, because they're just braids. And, you know, anyone can wear braids. All cultures wear braids. Now to my white girls out there, this is the looks that I typically do. Um, For something like this and of this length, it's going to run you about a cool, like, a thousand to twelve hundred depending on the length what? That you want but as you can see very nice not bumpy at all very well done very high quality braids so to get this look we're gonna have to do some prep first thing that i'm gonna need you to do is to go to the hair care section of target and pick this up right here you're gonna want to get this and you're gonna put it on your hair it's a really nice like protein treatment for your hair and it's gonna make your hair really soft and take to the braids really well then what you're going to do when you put this on is you're going to scrub your scalp really hard with this thing right here. You probably already have it because just, you know, simple scalp massager. But when you scrub your scalp super duper hard with that, with the, with the other product on it, it's going to really like, you know, nurture the hair growth, really stimulate the hair growth for you. And that's going to really help with the braid. Now you're going to want... So y'all are really sick people, Okay. Let me let me just go ahead and say that right here, right now. Shout out to YouTube. You already know I'm a black woman. But this woman is sitting up here telling that white girl to go get a relaxer and then stimulate her scalp really, really hard, which obviously is going to produce sores on her head and her hair is going to fall out. This is how pressed y'all are about something like this girl getting braids in her hair. Where well, this girl right here got braids in her hair. Which she had to have had hair added in. Who that hair come from? Who that hair come from? That's not her hair. It's hair added in here. Trying to talk about somebody being culturally appropriating. Because she got braids? I don't want to leave that product in your hair for a good hour. I like the braids. I think they're cute. I love and respect black people. My son's black. It's not the fact that she got braids in the first place. Because black women have given the spiel about a billion times. Everyone knows it. At this point, you just don't respect us and just don't care. So it's okay. I don't know if this is the same girl or not, but again, um, that hair added in ain't yours. Where'd that come from? Is that culturally appropriating or only because it's some Indian's hair or whoever's hair? It's not culturally appropriating because you made it into braids, but you culturally took their hair, but it's okay. Okay. Got it. Go ahead, girl. It's fine. It's not the fact that she's using her proximity to blackness as justification for appropriation and foolishness. Because that happens. This is somebody that's just using a bunch of words saying absolutely nothing. It's all the time. My question is, why is it always this type of white woman that has such proximity to blackness to feel so confident doing this stuff? Like I so the white girl should feel uh, what? Because she's close proximity to what? Child, I'm telling you, these people just be throwing out words just to be sounding like they saying something. She ain't saying nothing. Her pro close proximity to brackness. What the fuck does that even mean? Sorry, y'all. What does that even mean? Y'all out here trying to sound so smart and you sound so stupid because you mad because this girl got braids as you sit here with braids of hair that's not even yours. So you had to take from someone else, which you appropriated to put in your damn hair. I generally want to know, black guys specifically, why this type of white woman is constantly given such proximity to black oh sugar honey iced tea crusty dusty musty rusty ashy bums this is all your fault dear black men this is all your fault you created this girl you made her feel like she could be this close to blackness that she could go and do this it's all your fault how dare you allow this girl to come in here and culturally appropriate you do not you do not protect black women's you do not protect black women's and this is the result blackness they do not respect us they do not respect black culture they see us especially you as an f-e-t-i-s-h and yet uh black men you are a f-e-t-i-s-h to these white women okay you just the f-e-t-i-s-h to these white women okay they don't like you they're not attracted to you you have nothing to offer you're just a way in order to make them make black women upset i'm sure i'm sure there's some white supremacy discrimination and racism in here coming soon i have no doubt this kind of white girl what kind is she is she the bargain basement kind is she on the shelf over at walmart is she in nordstrom's like what type what they talking about this type of white girl i'm trying to stay where she come from
Because maybe I need to get on a shelf too. Put me in the shelf where uh, Bloomingdale's is or something. All right. I got to be on the high inside. Don't be trying to put me in the Dollar Tree, child. Yet, they keep popping up. Pop. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Do you. Her hair will fall out on its own and maybe she'll learn something. Oh, no, oh, it's cool. Girl, it don't sound like it's cool. Girl, I think you might be lying because it don't sound like it's cool, child. I don't care. I just want to know oh, what you the appeal care. is. Because I don't get it. I like Was it required that you get it? Is it required that you get it? Shout out to Christine Tobin that said, so when Beyonce wears her hair blonde and straight, is that considered appropriation of white people? Braids are Dutch. So nice try, fool. Ooh, come on, Christine Tobin. Now, I don't know if braids are Dutch or not, y'all, but she's absolutely right. And that's where I was going to get to with this cultural appropriation as all the wigs, blonde, red, orange, green, blue, and purple up and down black women's uh, backs, but going to have the audacity and the nerve to be all up in arms because this white girl put in some damn braids by a black woman. Of course, it's always the black women with weaves who want to hate on my beautiful free form curly dreadlocks it's like no no bye chaquandra this is so stupid if she had put on the wig of braids would that have made it any any better of course not. Any reason to be mad at white people while y'all take what white people have and then everybody's supposed to shut up about it. Mm, mm, mm. What else we got? Am account at that. I bet your nose fat as fuck. Send me some nose pics and then we can talk. There it is. There it is. There's the racism. See what you don't. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. I knew it was coming. White supremacy, discrimination, and racism. Now let's see what the racism is, child. What to do is disrespect black women's physical features while wearing a style that black women created. There is no correlation there. There's absolutely no correlation there. And she's sitting up here trying to sound so intelligent. There's absolutely no correlation there except for in your own crazy ass brain. One ain't got nothing to do with the other. But y'all gonna make up some racism, okay? And again, that's why racism doesn't mean anything anymore because y'all think everything is racist. You're going to waste your time trying to call this white girl racist because of these damn braids and because she made mention of a damn nose. So white, pe so white people don't have big noses, y'all. Okay. Shout out to Barbara Streisand. No, white people don't have big noses at all. But that's only a black person's thing, too, because everything is black women, black women, black women, black women, while they toss you black men under the bus and then they talk about everybody else and wonder why they have, they have so many problems. This is why you have so many problems. You make enemies out of everybody for absolutely no damn reason. It's not even like it's for a good reason. It's not even like it's for some good fight or something. It's just because you're mad because the woman got damn braids. Now, if all the white women started coming out and saying that they mad that y'all got orange hair, green hair, red hair, skunk hair, striped hair, straight hair, and all that other mess, then you'd be saying that they were still racist because they said something about what you appropriating from them. You get your noses fixed to be all straight, cultural appropriation, the blonde hair, cultural appropriation. But I guess they not allowed to say anything because if they say anything, then it's racist. It doesn't matter. Everything is racist. And that's why no one takes black women seriously. Y'all do it to yourselves. Uh-huh. Our physical features are beautiful. And y'all know that. No, not all of them, child. Don't even try it. Like you cute, but all of them ain't cute. Everybody ain't cute. Everybody don't look good. You know it and I know it. And if y'all don't know it, I'm going to tell you. There's a lot of ugly black women, okay? I'm just here to tell you, all right? A lot of ugly ones, all right? No matter what you put on them. And so are our hairstyles. Because if you didn't think it was beautiful, you wouldn't be trying to mimic it. Much like you all with the straight hair, with the wigs, with the colors, and all those other things that you take from people like trying to look like Kim Kardashian, trying to have straight hair like white people, trying to fix your noses to look like them. Trying to get the DAC on uh, weight loss things instead of doing actual weight loss, but go and get surgeries to get skinny. Okay. We're going to forget all about that, though. Shh, shh, shh. Don't say that. No, the white people might hear. The white people might hear. 
Mm -hmm. Respect the blueprint, my love. She sounds half damn crazy. She sounds half damn crazy. Ain't no blueprint on nothing except for causing extreme chaos unnecessarily and alienating anyone and everyone that comes around you. That's what it is. That's the specialty for black women. But I'm going to go ahead and end this here and we'll come back with a part two because this seems to go on and on and on. Shout out to Starla Soloway, whatever her name is, for causing all this uproar. Y'all women, black women out here looking like fools yet a damn again. And ain't nobody's fault but your own. Hypocrites to the end of time. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.